Hey there, Internet, it's Flagoon again, and uh, it is day three of Gen Con 2014, and I am with Ben Looms of Sirenscape. Yay! If you are a gamer and you have your group together and you want to create an atmosphere and get your gamers into this game, you need to not only look to this man in Sirenscape. So tell, tell us, what is Sirenscape? Cool. Well, you came over thinking it was just music, and uh, music's great. I tried music at the table. But kind of, if they're in a, if your players are in a dripping dungeon, well, where's the drips of the dungeon? If your players are in like a jolly tavern, then where's that? So I basically kind of thought of how I could do that. I started looking around the internet at different things, and you know there wasn't really anything that worked particularly well or sounded particularly brilliant. So I had a bit of sort of programming hobbyness and a, and a bit of, sort of audio skill. I'm a, I'm a composer and a, and a singer, so I wrote quite a dodgy version of, of something to do that in Python. And uh, yeah, and, and then we've now redeveloped it. But you asked what it is, not, not why I did it. So I'll tell you that. It makes sound for the table. So you're playing Pathfinder or a sci-fi game. There's two different players. And you go to the tavern and you just go, tavern. And you hit one button and Sirenscape starts up. And there's the sounds of people chatting. There's the sound of glasses chinking. There's someone having a funny conversation in the corner and laughing every now and then. Oh, nice. But it's not just a loop. It's not just 10 minutes of recording that goes round and round and round. Because there's lots of those actually out there. And the sound design is beautiful in a lot of them. But there's only 10 minutes of it. And it comes round and round and round and round. And, and people, you start to notice the patterns after a while. And it starts to get a little bit annoying if you say the same thing over again. 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 <laughs> it's like, ah, ah. Yeah. So, um, Cue the call for the barmaid. That's right. Barmaid. And the really great thing is that all those elements that I mentioned are actually all independent on the software. Um, there's the bauble of the crowd, the clinking glasses, and the laughing conversation, plus about nine other elements. So you can actually turn them up, turn them off. You know, if you like burp sounds in your pub, you can turn the burps on and all turn right. them up really, really loud. And then there's even on the side of it, there's actually a, a, a soundboard as well. So you can actually set off individual burps or, or crashes <laughs> or the barmaid drops the drinks. So you, so you hit smashing glass and Oh, yeah. that, that's nice. So like mm. if you got like, you're doing like a, something you're outside and there's a storm. Yeah. You that's can right. kind of level up how bad that storm sounds. That's right. So there's there's presets built in. So you just go to storm, and then there's like the storm is gathering, and that actually syncs up all the elements of the sound design into a certain configuration. There's you know blustery wind, sound of leaves, sort of you know, and then and then you just go to the next preset, which is like you know the storm is overhead, or as you said, you can actually sort of adjust them yourself. Wow. And then once you've got it sounding like you want, you can actually then save that preset. You know, if, if you like always more thunder than I put in in my mix, you can save a preset that says, you know, my sound design is much better than Ben's. You know? <laughs> and what's what's really cool is you can actually mix together the different elements from different sound sets as well. So if you own the dragon sound set and you own the storm set, you can turn on your thunderstorm, go over to the dragon sound set, turn on the dragon roars and the scratching of, uh, you know, the wing beats and all that sorts of things, and then save a dragon preset that's like dragon fighting in a thunderstorm. Yeah. Which is really, really cool. Oh, dude. So like you're in a thunderstorm and the PCs are miserable already. And then you can have the dragon, and they're doubly misery. So uh, you said that, uh, yeah, we, you know, I originally thought it was a music uh, mm. uh, thing. Are you thinking of like adding like a, a music thing? So, like, oh yeah, well, sorry, it is music. Yeah, I'm a composer, as I said. So, right. so when you hit bugbear battle, there's this, you know, oh, this massive big roar of a bugbear, and then high power. Then, Full orchestral music comes in with the big drums and all that sort of stuff. Absolutely. And like as a, as the fight gets going uh, yeah. more and more, you can yeah, like, add more to yep, it. To, yep, absolutely. Oh, I want this app. And, and, I need this now. And when you've got the music in the medieval town, say, it doesn't just play song after song after song after song after song. It just plays a song every now and then. You know, in a movie, it doesn't oh. actually play music the whole time. It's not like, oh, here's the next song. So it'll just it'll play a song. A bard might wander past, sing a song, and then it might wait for three minutes, might wait for five minutes, and then another song will just start every now and then. When oh. it's, so when it's a combat set, yeah, it's like music 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 all the time all right so if somebody wants to get themselves a copy of uh, sirenscape mm. where do they need to go what do they, how do they need to get this we'll go to sirenscape.com s-y-r-i-n-scape.com or you can just misspell it into google google is very friendly <laughs> that way uh, and you can just download either the fantasy player or the sci-fi player for free you don't even have to uh, register or anything to try it out it's available on mac and pc and ipad and android tabs and it comes each of the free players comes with two free sound sets which you can try out uh, and just see if it works on your system, see if you like it. And then, yeah, you can become a subscriber to the Fantasy Set. We've got a licensing deal with Paizo, which is fantastic. We're nice. going, going through Rise of the Rune Lords and just covering awesome location, location after awesome location. And, and so we've just done uh, the Skinsaw Murders, so we've got a fantastic teetering tower where the steps are like creaking every step you go up. And then there's a, there's a one-shot for like the steps collapse. 
and not trying to spoil Skins or Murders, just cover your ears, they drop the bell on you. And I've, I've worked on the sound of the bell breaking free, oh, crashing wow. through, and then clanging into the ground. And that was really hard, actually. I I'd, would imagine. That's yeah. a lot. There's a lot of different things when yeah, it comes to stuff falling I made, stuff I made like several that. versions that sounded very lame, indeed. So, uh, for updates, are you? Are, do you have like any like any other little areas you haven't gotten out? Of? You've got yeah. You've got your bar. You've got your town. You've got a sci-fi. Uh, That's right. We're going scene. through all in the fantasy one. We're going through all the monsters, all the you know classic fantasy monsters. We're, through we're basically using Rise of the Rune as an excuse to cover them. We've done already. You know, goblins, obviously, um, <laughs> ghouls, ghasts, uh, yeth hounds, bar guests, scavelings, sort of all these different monsters, and. Uh, and then we're also doing all those locations and then people are just all the time asking for stuff. Whoever's the loudest and whinges the loudest, why am I saying this? I guess what they were. I just finally made uh, an icy wasteland for someone who said they wanted to give their uh, PCs frostbite. So I did that. And I've, I've got a lot of love from a lot of people, which is great. All and right. then we've just released the sci-fi player on Monday. So that covers sci-fi. And then we're going to soon do uh, like a modern player that that's Call of Cthulhu. I, I play a lot of Cthulhu and I use the fantasy player. There's this sort of haunted East house kind of sounds that's in there. Oh, and nice. Freaky ghosts and things. All sorts of ways of making your players miserable, actually, which oh. is really cool. And that's the way you're supposed to do yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. Well, thank you very much, Ben. Oh, pleasure. Uh, we look forward to uh, getting And it's available mm. now, correct? Yeah, available All now. Right. Yeah, well, absolutely. I'll, I'm going to go have to go get this now and yeah. uh, Give it a try. scare the hell out of my players. So. There's, uh, there's a 30-day free trial subscription, which you can jump on if it's if it's if we're still within August when you see this, then go to sirenscape.com slash Gen Con and can actually become a, a pretend subscriber and the whole thing will unlock for you while you do that for the next 30 days. And then you can keep going when you love it, because you will. Yes. Sirenscape. Get it. Yay. We love you. <laughs>